Considering the time high school athletes spend practicing, traveling, and playing, sports can sometimes seem like a full-time job. And even with school now in session for our local teams, their schedules aren't thinning out. Alpina hosting a quad volleyball match Wednesday night, welcoming the girls from Sheboygan, Posen, and Rogers City to town, each team playing a three-set match against Every other squad, let's start with the pair from Presque Isle County. Vikings on the attack in the first, looking to close the deficit when Lindsey Klaus blocks Curran Hinska. That puts RC up three in the set, and they take the first 25-17. Now in the second set, Klaus strikes again with the kill to tie it up. But the Vikings would respond. Ashley Myers puts the serves where the Hurons can't return it. Posen wins the second set, 25 to 23. It was all Hurons in the final set. Courtney Strike gets tricky with putting the ball over the net really quickly. Then Sarah Meredith gets just enough of the ball for the kill. And the Hurons win the match two to one. So after dropping two of three to the Hurons, the Vikings change courts to try their luck against the ladies from Alpena. Posen was sticking with the Cats in the first when Danielle Rode put some fancy spin on the ball. That gets the Vikes within one, 22-21. But Alpena pulls it out. Taylor Genshaw with the ace to win the set. And after that, Alpena took over the rest of the way. Emma Strong sends Carrie Adam and Spike right back at her. And then Amy Milligan spikes it once to no avail, but she gets another try and makes sure this one doesn't come back. She gets the kill, and Alpina wins the match three zip. So after winning their first two matches, the Wildcats trying to make the clean sweep, finishing the day against Roger City. The Hurons were hanging tough in the first. Allie Sherwin bumps one across the net, but Morgan Hall sends it back. Hurons take the 22-21 lead, and then the Cats keep fighting. Brennan Bordage powering one over the net, giving the Cats the first set win, 25 to 23. But in the second set, it was a little easier for Alpina. Bordage sends one down the line. That gives the Cats the 25-21 win. And then the Hurons kept coming in the third. Rebecca Meredith blocks Taylor Genshaw, and RC wins the final set, 25-21. But Alpina takes the match 2-1. to one. And while the quad provided a lot of practice time for the Wildcats, head coach Melissa Dobek says her team still has plenty of room for improvement. We executed some uh, offensive plays that we had, and we worked on in practice. We were working more on covering the hitter, so we had some big uh, coverages uh, earlier on. We have to be much better at our offensive game. We have to have more aggressive hits. We've got to work to be offensively stronger and more aggressive. 